conversations are enhancements to modules in upgrade slot number four in tier seven through legendary tier destroyers, cruisers, and battleships. And total, there are five epic modernizations as of February 2023. There are some missions that you have to complete to unlock the modernizations. I have a video about that, which I will leave a link to down below. But after you make the grind and unlock all those modernizations, now what? So I figured I would go through my port and show some of the modernizations in action or or how to enable them in the uh, specific ships and the Siegfried here a uh, German cruiser is one of the few ships that has four of the five modernizations available so it has everything that you need here to uh, possibly choose between these four modernizations so let's go through them one by one first epic modernization available for the Siegfried is a secondary battery mod 3 and by the way each of these modernizations can only be installed on one single ship uh, these modernizations are not available through the fleet in your port so you have to choose wisely and pick the ship that you think will most benefit from the secondary battery mod 3 gunfire control system mod 2 torpedo launchers mod 3 main battery mod 3 and the artillery plotting room for the American battleships which we'll check out in in a second here but the um, the, the way that these work is for this secondary battery mod 3 for example for every 50 secondary hits you will unlock the first stage of the uh, boost on the epic modernization so these are uh, performance based enhancements so for every 50 secondary hits you will get a 5% quicker reload time of your secondary battery and each of these epic modernizations can be ratcheted up five steps so uh, once you reach 250 secondary hits in any one single match the secondary battery mod 3 will be maxed out and when uh, the match is over with it goes back down to zero and it resets for the next time that you play over here gunfire control system mod 2 is kind of the same thing for every 50 main gun hits your main battery dispersion stays the same at three percent but the main battery range is increased by an extra two percent here so uh, that will go up to 10% if you ratchet this up with 250 main gun hits in any single match. So uh, with this kind of an epic modernization, I think you want to do something with a very quick reload to be able to get that 250 main gun hits in a standard match. I think that this modernization is actually available in some battleships, but you will uh, rarely get uh, 250 main gun hits in a battleship. So I think you want to use this on maybe the Minotaur or the, or the Colbert or something else that reloads uh, fairly quickly. And okay, here is Torpedo Launchers Mod 3. So for here, for every three torpedo hits, your launcher reload time is reduced. It's improved by 2%. So you can um, get up to a 10% improvement in the torpedo launcher reload time if you get 15 torpedo hits in a match and how many times has that ever happened for anybody you can go ahead and leave a comment about that down below and here main battery mod 3 main battery reload time is improved for every 50 main gun hits i think that this is also available on some battleships but again how many battleships get 250 main gun hits in a match and um, you want to use this on those quick reloading cruisers i think so the most important thing to keep in mind here is when you go to install an epic modernization sometimes it will ask you to uh, pay 25 doubloons sometimes it doesn't i'm not really sure why it's not asking me at this point but over here on the lower right you see that uninstallation is 250 doubloons and the magic number with that is 250 doubloons equal one dollar so the normal cost to unmount a modernization, a mod, in any of the slots is 25 doubloons and that is 10 cents. So here it's a significant increase to unmount the secondary battery mod 3 in the Siegfried 
uh, once I install it. And here I'm going to go ahead and install it. Uh, it's a significant uh, increase in the cost to unmount it, to move it to like the Bismarck or, or something else uh, or some other ship. So here let's go through and unmount that and here the default is to uninstall for 250 doubloons. You can also go down there and sell these epic modernizations for 2,500,000 silver credits but when you do that you will lose the epic modernization and you will not be able to purchase it uh, after that point. So all the work that you went through to gain the epic modernization if you don't want to spend the doubloons and you want to get the credits instead you lose the epic modernization so you are forced to pay the one dollar fee to unmount this epic modernization as it stands right now so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and yeah. so the last epic modernization is the artillery plotting room and that is specifically for the American battleships only tier 7 through legendary tier so I was gonna give a demonstration on that in the New Jersey Let's see what that looks like and so here you can see artillery plotting room mod 2 is already installed and basically what that is is main battery dispersion is improved by 10 percent so the epic modernization uh, for the artillery plotting room will improve your main battery dispersion by two percent for every two citadel hits and you can get an extra 10 percent so your main battery dispersion is improved by 20 percent here with this uh, epic modernization for every two citadel hits and i'm going to say that you can come close to getting 10 citadel hits in a standard match with um, with these American tier 7 through legendary tier battleships. Okay, so the next thing I was going to demonstrate is the epic modernizations will disappear from the list once they have been installed on any one ship. So here I'm going to select the gearing. I'm going to go to mod slot number 4 and I'm going to I'm going to replace the Torpedo Launcher Mod 3 with the Epic Modernization Torpedo Launcher Mod 3 and we will see if the Epic Modernization here it's available on the Sumner so let's uh, install it on the Gehring and see if it still shows up on the Sumner and this is a demonstration that once the Epic Modernization is installed on a particular ship. Now here you see uh, you have to pay 25 doubloons and I'm not really sure why I had to for this guy versus uh, the Siegfried that we were looking at earlier but okay I'm gonna go ahead and do that now let's go back and look at the Sumner and you know the uh, epic modernization was there previously but now that it's been installed on the Gehring it is now missing from the Sumner so once these epic modernizations are installed they disappear from the options of available epic modernizations on other ships uh, i would kind of like to see a grayed out area here and actually an indication of what ship the epic modernization is currently installed on because i can see uh, that i would forget which epic modernization went on what ship eventually all right well that's about it for the epic modernizations and what to do with them once you've acquired them and kind of how that works and uh, the big thing to remember here is and I cannot stress this enough be very careful when you unmount the epic modernizations so that you don't sell it so uh, it's a dollar to unmount it but I think that's far better than selling it for 2.5 million silver credits and you can't get the epic modernization back I think I, I've heard stories of some players that have uh, accidentally deleted them or, or sold them and tried to get the epic modernizations back with a service test ticket. I'm not really sure that was all that successful, but um, yeah, that's one thing you can try, I guess. Uh, in any event, let me know what you think down below. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you like it.